Hello dear all and welcome to this short tutorial on how to connect your Fujifilm X100F with your smartphone. You can use all smartphones and tablets equipped with Android and iOS, so it's super simple. And before we actually start doing this, we need to download the Fujifilm camera remote app for free from, in this case, the iOS App Store. That's the one you need. It's available for Android and iOS. I'm using an iPhone 8 Plus here with 256 gigabytes and it's called Fujifilm Camera Remote. So let's come to the tricky part because this camera is the first camera where I really had to go to the manufacturer's website to see on how it's possible to connect this camera with my smartphone. I've never was struggling that much, but here's the camera where it's a little bit more tricky. First of all, turn on your camera and I was looking actually for a Wi-Fi button around the camera, but there's, but there's no Wi-Fi button at all, which makes it more easy um, to have the connection established more quick and easy. So what I would usually do, I would go to connection, uh, sorry for settings, then say connection setting and there are the Wi-Fi settings. Let's step through these points very quick. As you can see in stacks, you can connect this camera to one of these small Fujifilm printers. Then you can use the function geotagging, means if you are outside and your smartphone is nearby your camera, you may use the coordinates of your smartphone for the pictures of the camera. Later on in Lightroom, you'll be able to see where you took these photos on a chart like Google Maps you'll be able to connect the, your camera with your computer and make an autosave. Means once you're home in your local area network, the camera transfers the photo automatically onto your computer or your external hard drive. So I was expecting to connect my smartphone with the camera inside the wireless settings but as you can see, there's only the general settings. That means you can give your camera a specific name. Let's go back. You can reset all the Wi-Fi settings, what I'm gonna do now. You can say resize image for smartphone means if you are sending these photos to your friends via WhatsApp, Keep it off. I mean, you, you don't need to send them the whole picture or the, the, the huge file because usually WhatsApp resizes them anyways. Uh, but in this case, we say um, leave it off to transfer the entire photo onto our smartphone. But that's it. And there's no point which says, okay, please connect my camera now to my smartphone. And I was a little bit worried about it. Like, how is that possible? Ta-da! Then I figured out you need to go to playback. Then hit the menu button. And if you scroll down, there are the wireless communication settings. Press on that, please. Now you need to go to your smartphone, go to the Wi-Fi settings and look for that network. As you can see, I'm in the Wi-Fi settings of my smartphone. And on top, you can see the Fujifilm X100F. And then you have the following options. First of all, this one is now in German, but I will translate it for you. That means control the camera, uh, let, the pic uh, let, let some pictures sent to your camera, enable geotagging and search inside the camera. And it's connected to the Fujifilm X100F and I'm using an iPhone. It's asking me, do you want to allow your iPhone to establish a connection with the Fujifilm X100? I say, okay. Now the live view of the Fujifilm X100F is now disabled and you have the full option to use your smartphone as a remote control. First of all, we're gonna step through some points so you can set the focus quite easy by just tapping onto your screen and take a photo. If you would like to change the shutter speed, just use 
these little arrows left and right. If you would like to change the aperture, it's super easy as well. Just press on SS and say aperture. If you would like to change the ISO, hit the ISO and say, for instance, ISO 400. OK, then you can take a photo again. With the SD card I'm using for the moment, which is a 64 gigabyte card and it's almost full, I can still take 579 photos in RAW. If you want to take a photo, just simply hit that button up here. Here's the battery level, which is already super low. And you can switch to the video mode quite easy by just tabbing on that button down here. To start a video, hit that button and you can see with that capacity you can still take 227 minutes and more than 10 seconds of video in 1080p with 50 frames per second. To stop that video just hit that button again. To see your files press the green playback button down here and there are all the files that we just took. So you can download all of these files now if you hit all and if you want to select just a couple of them, for instance, this one and this one, you can see it's asking you for, import, for an import now. It wants to import two photos and I still have 211.2 gigabytes of free memory on my iPhone and I say now import. Since we chose that we want to transfer the whole file size onto our smartphone, it took a while and of course because of the video. So one thing that's a bit annoying is once I hit that button, which is an arrow that just points backwards, means to me that I will be in the menu where I can select like camera remote, geotagging, playback and so on and so on. It basically just gives me the option to disconnect from the camera. That's the only thing we can do and I say OK. Then if you want to see these four points again, you need to go to your camera, hit the playback button again, say wireless communication and connect to the Fujifilm again, which is a bit disappointing. And then you can see all four points again. But apart from that, as you saw, it's once you've done it, it's quite easy. So here again, um, there are no photos for the moment that I, uh, that I was sending with the camera onto my smartphone. And as you can see, I can't step back anymore. So I have to disconnect from the camera again. Let's have a look. These ones are the photos that I was just importing to my smartphone. These are huge file sizes, so you can zoom in and you have all the nice details on that photo. And of course, from here, you'll be able to send it to your friends via mail, messaging, telegram, upload it to your Dropbox, send it via Gmail, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, and so on and so on. And of course, here's the video. That's the video and it's nice that you can transfer videos so as photos onto your smartphone using the Fujifilm X100F. I have to correct myself because I found a point which is quite interesting. Go to the third point, page two of two, and there you have the wireless communication settings that you require to connect your camera with your smartphone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have still any open questions, please state a comment below. Bye bye.